was gonna wear these, but y'all probably wanna see my eyes. The sun is kinda out. It's like in front of me, but it's covered by these like greens right here. Y'all are probably wondering, what is this? So I'm gonna interview myself. I literally just wrote down a bunch of questions to ask myself in the shower. I was like, okay, well, I wasn't in the shower, but I thought to ask myself the questions. In the shower, I got out of the shower and wrote them down. First question is, who am I? I'm just me. I'm a African trans man, just striving for better, to be honest. So uh, that's, that's who I am, pretty summed up. A uh, very vague description of who I am. Next. How old am I? So I'm 22 years old. Uh, my birthday is August 17th, 2000. So y'all can wish me happy birthday. <laughs> when did I know I was trans? Now, I put this question in there because I kind of wanted to know it myself. Um, I mean, I do know the answer because I'm myself, but I wanted to elaborate on it more. So um, I honestly knew I was trans when I was like five. Okay, but then keep in mind, I didn't know the language. Like I knew I was trans, but I didn't know that it was called being trans, if that makes sense. I don't like these labels for real because when I was five, bro, I remember, like to me as a kid, I've always just been a little boy. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's not like, oh, I felt I was trans. Like I generally believed I was a boy, like I was a boy. So when people started telling me like, uh, you're a girl, you're supposed to wear this, this, that, I was like, like it was very odd and troubling for me, but like I never, felt trans but i just felt like a boy like, i felt like me i thought i was chilling until society in the world and everyone starts putting these female gender norms on me i'm like i don't like this so yeah i'd say five just because i remember specifically this moment where i was literally my mom had a preschool right and she had a preschool assistant and oh, i'll never forget her she was honestly my like childhood crush um she was literally like five times older than me she was like 25 i was five so five times 25, <laughs> but bro, I was just like, I'm gonna bag her. Like I literally felt in my little soul that I was gonna bag her. And I just thought, I just thought she was the prettiest girl ever. And I would be like, you know, trying to have my little swag. I'd be walking all cool, like talking to her and stuff. And like, I did all that, like with my core feeling like a, a boy, a man, a boy at that time. So yeah, that's my explanation. It's not like I woke up and I was like, I'm a man or I'm a boy. It's not like that. It's the fact that you grow up and you start to, like when you grow up and you're not acting how you're supposed to act, that's when the incongruency starts. But in reality, trans people, we be chilling until society tells us that we're different and weird and all this stuff. Like until your family's like, why are you wearing, why are you wearing a boy clothes? You're supposed to be a girl. That's when the problems start. But you know, if no one tells us anything, we be chilling. <laughs> I, was ch I was chilling, you feel me? You know, I was chilling until puberty started and I was like, why am I bleeding? Why, why is blood coming out of me? I was supposed to have a whole dick, bro. But yeah, so five to answer that question. Next question, is it hard to find a partner? Just being myself. Um, I feel like a lot of people put emphasis on this as like, oh, trans people, you know, you might have a hard time finding a partner, but it's like, I don't think trans people have it any harder than a cis person because it's not even about you being trans, cis, your gender identity or your sexual orientation. It's not about any of that. It's just about, are you a attractable person? Like, attractive person? Like, your personality? Like, are, do you keep up with yourself? Do you know what I'm saying? So it really has nothing, in my opinion, to do with being trans, cis, gay, straight, bi, pansexual, non-binary. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It just matters if you're a good person and like, yeah. Because like the law of attraction, bro, like we're all energy. So if you are putting something out, you're gonna get it back. It doesn't, just because someone's trans does not mean that they're excluded from receiving things in the world. And I think people need to stop that misconception, misconception that like trans people will just, are like alienated in a sense we're alienated by society yeah but people love trans people like people love people bro it's we're humans it ain't, it ain't that deep don't take stuff too deep and start thinking about it and being like you feel me a lot of stuff is really simple we just overcomplicate it it's not that complicated like for me i've never had a problem finding a partner ever like it's i'm not over here bragging like i get bitches or you know what i'm saying i get people but it's literally like i have never had a problem getting a partner um they're just people out there bro talk to them i don't know <laughs> manifest and pray bro i don't know get right with yourself shoot love yourself first and then you'll attract somebody i've never had anyone be like oh you're trans no have i no i really haven't if i had i can't remember it but like an actual person that i really wanted to be with they did not care at all
at all. If anything, I'd be caring more than the other person cares. I wonder if they're gonna, you know, be cool being with me. Ah, that was before, like, I would think like that. But in reality, they're like, I don't care, dude, I like you. So, it's my little advice, don't trip. Next question, why don't I have a haircut? So, I put this in there specifically so I can elaborate on why I don't have a haircut. Honestly, I, well, it kind of looks like I have like a low fade. And y'all, again, this is my little birthmark, or I don't know, I just don't have hair right here. That's just how I was built, I don't really know. But um, I've been saying for a long time, I just wanna let my hair grow. And I always like cut it. And um, this is my, this is me saying it straight up. So this is my accountability video. But nah, um, I've realized that I always kept a haircut because you know, when I was a teenager, I would cut my hair a lot because it, it made me feel really masculine. So I would just, make sure I had a fresh cut. It would make me feel good, especially when I wasn't on tea, right? Um, having a fresh cut was like the closest thing to to testosterone because I would get a fresh cut and I would look so much more masculine. It would just make my face look like fresh, smooth. I don't know, but I've realized now like I'm really deeper into my transition and I'm getting more comfortable with myself and I don't have to try as hard to be masculine and all this because I I just am at this point. I've been on testosterone a long enough time to where like I just look masculine, like my voice is masculine. I have like facial hairs and stuff, like my structure is masculine. So I'm like, I feel like I'm at a place now where I can let my hair grow out. When I was off T or when I'm not on my testosterone the way I want it to be or when I'm just not feeling my most masculine, I would not let my hair grow out. You see what I'm saying? because it like it emasculates me in a sense i'm like okay my hair's growing out i look like a girl so i just would not let it grow out next question what things do i do that make me feel alive Whew. whoever asked that question <laughs> that's a good one what things do i do that make me feel alive honestly this um youtube for sure um i don't know like i could come out to this view right and just stare at the view and stuff but when i'm like talking to y'all it like helps me just free my mind and I feel like I'm doing something and I'm, you know, being visible for someone else to see me. I just feel like I'm doing something. I feel like I'm purposeful with my life. I don't just feel like I'm a blob here because I know like we are nothing and everything at the same time, but this really makes me feel like I'm doing something good. Next question, am I okay? Um, that's deep. I am okay. I just want to talk a little bit about just some struggles. Um, not like crazy or anything like that, but my life is very good i'm very blessed very fortunate for the position i'm in um i just find that sometimes i have a hard time forgiving and not resenting people situations things like moving on from things because it's very hard when you're reminded of something to forget it and it's very easy to go into that poor me mindset so that's something i've been struggling with but um i've been managing it because obviously we're not perfect bro so I just have to pinpoint that when I feel that way and do something about it instead of just sulking and being like, why me? Whoa, life sucks, blah, 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 because that's not going to get me anywhere. But I'm okay. <laughs> I, I'm okay. And if I wasn't okay, I'd, I'd be okay. And I don't mean that on some like cover up masculine stuff like, oh, I'll be all right. I, I generally mean I have faith in God and everything that it's going to be okay. So I'm okay. Hope y'all are okay as well. Um, life is definitely. I'm not gonna say it's not 100% tough, but you know, there's definitely things you have to get through. And I've realized that as well. A lot of things that uh, are like scary to me or that make me fearful, I can't run from them. I have to go through them. The more I run, the longer it just continues. Easier said than done for sure, but it's a good feeling after you get through whatever was making you fearful instead of running from it. Next question, what are some of my dreams and aspirations? Honestly, a dream that I have is, you know, I really do wanna like help the trans community. Um, I know these videos, a lot of y'all tell me these videos do help y'all, but I'm, I'm talking on like a bigger scale. Um, I don't know exactly what that entails yet. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not gonna speak on it for real, for real. But um, I definitely wanna help the community I'm from. Um, I definitely want to help just everyone in the world, to be honest, because there's a lot of there's a lot of positivity in the world. I'm gonna say that first. But there's also a lot of 
opportunities for better education. I'll say that. I'm not gonna label. It, I'm not gonna label it as negative, but I just think that people are misinformed about things, and there needs to be a lot of better education around a lot of topics. Not even just being trans or whatever, but just about like life and loving each other and like being our best selves. And like, there's so much to learn, to know, to do. So, yeah. Um, broad a broad generalization my dreams and aspirations is just to be of service to help people um i love helping people in whatever way i can help people so yeah that, that it doesn't say too much but it says enough so i hope to answer with something next um uh, what's the best thing about being trans honestly i would say that being trans has allowed me to kind of get rid of a lot of like um gender norms and like i mean i do i wouldn't say i follow them because i'm just being me like i dress masculine because i like dressing masculine not because i feel like i need to or you know what i mean but being trans is just kind of like completely knocked down the wall of like binary for me um and it like like 50s like like 75 percent i'm not gonna say totally because i probably do still do things in the binary that i'm maybe not even aware of but it's just shown me like the the complexity of being a human and it's it's just crazy because to me you know being trans right it's it's not anything crazy but it's the way society sees me so having to be hyper aware of how people see me has like gave me compassion to be able to like sympathize and see other people who have to be the same way you know like they may not be trans, but they might be, you know, gay or they might be a different race that isn't as accepted. So I can like sympathize with them as like, okay, I get it. People, they don't really know what to do with you, but you're still a human and it's just that they don't understand you. And like, I, I, I sympathize. I hope that made sense what I'm trying to say, but it's really just made me, it's humbled me a lot. Um, like, like a lot. Um, it's shown me a lot about everyone I love because you know being trans is something that it's not like oh jimmy just cut his hair off you know it's literally oh um the once girl in the family is now a boy like it's very <laughs> it's very drastic of a change in the sense of like how the family dynamic works and coming from the family i came from it definitely rippled a lot of things um and that's not in a bad way but it can be if you want to call it that but i'm not putting any label on it as negative positive it's just it is what it is um yeah it's been a good thing though it's just it's been a very very good thing i think that as well just me and being who i am has shown my family has taught them a lot i'm not sure how they feel i i'm gonna ask them one day but i'm sure it's taught them a lot of patience compassion and understanding because to understand me not that I'm so difficult to understand, but coming from where they came from, never talking to a trans person before, and now someone in their family is trans, I know that has to be difficult in a sense and take a lot um, of inner work for sure, just to be able to address me and be around me and, you know what I'm saying? And and, and adapt to me. Worst thing about being trans. Um, honestly, there's not too many bad things, but I'd say for sure, just like the dealing with people that are misinformed, missing like miseducated or not educated at all, just because um, you know after like the 50th time of explaining to someone that you are a man, you're not a girl, it does get a little draining. But I don't really put my energy into conversations like that anymore. Um, so it's really not even that bad of a thing. But like if I had to pick something, that's probably like the thing that I would not miss if it went away, is just people not knowing how to deal with me, talk to me, and not seeing me for me. Pretty much next question dang it's already been 20 minutes y'all this is a juicy one but i'm almost done so yeah you're gonna have to stop seeing my face soon my face is gonna leave you soon but um and it's getting dark so perfect time next question is why did i start youtube um for sure it was god because i don't even know what made me like start bro i remember i just had i had like a phone um when i was a kid my dad had got me a phone when i was young and I think it had, like, I was able to, this, I think YouTube came out in, like, 2007, if I'm not mistaken, or 2009, something like that. So, around that time, I was just, like, I don't know, checking out my phone, trying to see what, what, what it does. And I think I ended up on the YouTube app, and I just, like, I would watch YouTube videos, but I saw that you can upload a video from your phone. And I was, like, if I can upload a video from my phone, I'm going to do it. Like, 
it's that easy i can be like the other youtubers i see like i can just press i can record a video on my android and post it say less so that's exactly what i did um yeah i would just record like random stuff i remember i recorded like one of my friends birthday parties i was just like recording i posted it on youtube like i th really think it's god the universe my ancestors like fate because it wasn't like i'm gonna make a youtube channel type vibe it just kind of happened so and i haven't stopped posting since then since i was like seven like i've been at this youtube stuff for a minute bro <laughs> like for a minute obviously not that consistent because i was a child so i would just post here and there i took it serious truly took it serious like 2020 i definitely got a lot more frequent with posting but um yeah i've been doing this for a while i think i i public a lot of my videos so if y'all want to go stalk me and see what i was doing back then go for it uh, at first i was like i don't want to show myself like that but then i was like it's the growth it's the growth next question these are more chill uh this one is favorite food that's a hard cook that's because mm. honestly i just ate a bomb steak last night it was a ribeye steak and it reminded me why i love steak so much um i love like steak ribs like just meat in general can i just say meat i'm gonna just say meat because my other favorite food would be like chicken wings chicken wings like i just love meat so my favorite food is meat like just plain meat like no nothing else no sides i don't need any carbs no veggies i mean i eat veggies because like health but i'm talking about like realistically if i could if all i had was just meat i'd be chilling straight up like a piece of salmon some ribs some chicken wings a steak oh i'm eating like literally yeah i'm over here all hungry i'm like yeah bro can y'all believe i barely had so i'm allergic this is not a question but i'm gonna just tell you i'm allergic to peanuts i've i cannot eat peanuts pb and j no I, I can't eat that and yesterday my girlfriend bro she was over here smacking on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and she was like i wish i could give you something and i was like just like envying her low key because it looked good everyone always be like pb and j ah. like every my whole childhood i've grown up people eating those like smuckers uncrustables at school or people just eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches my mom would feed the preschool kids peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and i would just be there or actually my mom she would make me butter and jelly sandwiches like just put butter on bread and put jelly that was gas but i still felt like i was missing something um so recently almond i don't know if almond butter recently came out but when i was a kid i didn't see no like barney's almond butter in the stores but anyways um barney's almond butter is like so gas so i put did I, no my girlfriend made me this sandwich actually i'm not gonna take the credit but she put barney's almond butter and the smuckers jelly i mean uh, pb and j yeah on brioche bread bro it's it's so good like i always been like y'all just eating bread peanut butter and jelly that has that cannot be good it is so good like i'm gonna go and make one like very soon because yes um yeah so it's getting kind of cold now i'm over here like the sun is officially gone so uh that's probably my cue to, to leave now. But yeah, that was just some questions that I wanted to ask myself. <laughs> if you guys have, I keep saying you guys. I know it's not just guys that watch this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do better. If y'all have any questions, there we go. Uh, if y'all have any questions, please, hold on, let me sit down. But if y'all have any questions, please type them in the chat type the questions because yeah um if i can be of help or whatever I'm, I'm so down if you have something that's just burning in your heart to ask an african trans man please ask it um yeah that's pretty much the video y'all um let me go get in my car because it's cold and it's getting dark now so yeah thanks